Hello, this is the first in a series of videos in which we will show you our new single shared platform for managing our cloud-based endpoint security solutions for businesses, the Ether platform. What is Ether? Ether is the new innovative platform on which our Panda endpoint protection and Panda adaptive defense product families are built and hosted. Ether is not a product, but a platform that provides security control, flexibility and granularity. Additionally, it provides new advanced features and more endpoint information to help organizations save time and manage the security of employees and contractors, endpoints and servers in an easier manner. The Ether platform eases management by offering a single web console, managing an integrated single agent in real time, enabling administrators to respond to any critical security incident within seconds. In this video, we will focus on the solution's main dashboard. This is the first screen that we access right after logging in. As soon as we access the product, we are presented with a dashboard that let us see at a glance the main status indicators our organization may have. Unprotected computers, computers with errors, installing the protection without a license, etc. Unprotected computers discovered, offline computers for more than 3, 7 or 30 days, even computers with out-of-date protection. Classification of all programs run and scanned. This widget displays a classification of all the programs and libraries run in the organization. Panda Adapted Defense 360 doesn't just classify malware. It inspects all other programs and processes as well, minimizing the risk of infection. Unlike other EDR solutions, Panda Adapted Defense 360 provides a truly managed service that frees customers from the task of having to classify applications programs and executables themselves. To do that, it applies machine learning algorithms on all events and actions taking place on endpoints, automatically classifying 99.98% of all applications in real time as malicious or trusted. Also, even if a program is classified as trusted, it continues to be monitored in order to neutralize seemingly trusted applications that later turn out to be malware or a PUP. Malware activity. The next widget shows information about malware, such as ransomware, targeted attacks, trojans, etc., that is detected by the protection in real time when trying to enter a system or take action on it. Clicking on the Malware Activity widget takes us to a screen where we can see all detected threats, the infected computers, whether the threat was blocked or not, whether it ran or accessed data on the affected system, and even if it established external connections. Clicking on a thread displays more information about it, such as its name, the affected computer, its impact, the source of infection, and any other occurrence of the malware on other computers on the network. Besides, we can see more information about the malware activity by clicking on View Full Activity Details. There we will see a description of the malware's lifecycle on the computer. To view a more visual representation of these actions, we'll click on the View Activity Graph button. Let's see the life cycle of a malware specimen from the start. We click first node and then start. This graph shows the actions taken by the attacker over time when trying to introduce malware into the system. We can drill down and filter the information displayed in order to perform a forensic analysis to assess the harm caused by the threat and detect sensitive data exfiltration. Also, this information will allow us to establish preventive measures to thwart future attacks such as changing user permissions, creating firewall rules to protect the network perimeter, etc. This graph uses different colors to indicate the risk level of each item. Green for goodware, red for malware, orange for items in the process of classification, and blue for the actions taken by the monitor processes. In the case of the communications established by malware, the platform geolocates the connection destination. In this example, we can see how the user downloaded the file appearing to be a video, but which turned out to be a program that downloaded components, installed them, and later established communications with the United States. This information gives us the intelligence we need to be able to answer the following questions. What types of risks or threats is my organization facing? Are these actions aimed at data theft? Or is this attack motivated by industrial espionage? Watch our next video to learn more about Panda Adaptive Defense 360 on Ether 
or contact us for further information.